Hello everybody, my name is Angelina Harden, and I'm going to talk to you about something that's a little sad today, but it is changing. Um, I'm going to talk to you about horse slaughter. Now, horse slaughter is no longer allowed in the United States of America. There are no more horse slaughter plants here, thanks to a lot of organizations and a lot of people like you and me. Yay us! Yay! See, it does make a difference. But now we have another problem. Now they're taking our horses and shipping them across the border to Mexico and Canada. And that's not going to work. That's not acceptable. And you're like, well, how are they getting our horses? Well, one place that they buy them is at the auctions, like the livestock sales, the horse sales. They get a lot of them there. I know a lot of people take their horses there thinking that they're going to find a nice, loving home for their pet that nobody plays with anymore or their old riding horse that somebody's going to want to continue showing. That's not always the case. And probably the majority of it's not what really happens. And so they get them at the auctions. They'll get them from racetrack breeders because they breed for that one perfect horse. And um, they'll take them after they bought them and load them into double-decker trailers. A double-decker trailer is sort of like a, a two trailers on top of each other. So it's one trailer, two trailers. Well, Part of the problem with that is that double-decker trailers are made for cattle. They're not made for horses. It's too small. And a horse has to ride with its head down and, and it can't have its head up, which makes it lose its balance a little bit. So he's got horses crammed in this trailer that's too small. And as many as they can get crammed in there, doesn't matter if it's a stallion, doesn't matter if it's a foal, doesn't matter if it's a pregnant mare about to foal. They all get shoved in there together. And then they start their drive. Well, they're going to be in this double-decker trailer for at least 24 hours straight with no food, no water, no rest, and trying to keep their balance. A lot of them get trampled on the way and die. They get cut up. It's a pretty horrible drive. Well, when they get to the slaughterhouse in Mexico, they'll unload them, and then they'll have a chute, and the horses will have to go through this chute, and it'll line them up one by one. And it, they force them into what's called a kill box. Well, the, 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 the door raises, and a horse will fight. It does not want to go in there because it can smell all the blood. It can smell all the fear from the other horses. It does not want to go in there. So they'll beat it with rods or poles or fiberglass, whatever, and they'll get it in there, and then the door closes behind them. And then a man with a long knife, he'll take it, and he'll start stabbing the horse over and over and over in the head and in the neck. He's trying to sever the spinal cords, what he's trying to do. So he'll repeatedly stab his horse over and over in the neck. Okay, well finally the horse is going to go down. Well, more than likely it's still alive. And they'll open the gate, wrap a chain around its leg, and they'll hoist it up to the ceiling. And then they'll cut its throat. They call it bleeding it. And remember, the horse is probably still alive at this point and then they'll start skinning it and that's how that horse dies if you can tell me that it's a humane death then I'm, I'm just gonna have to completely and totally disagree with you that is not humane okay so now you're asking why are they taking our horses over to Mexico and Canada why what are they slaughtering them for well it's for human consumption yeah it's for people in Italy, Belgium, France, and Japan. Those are the major, major consumers for horse meat. They buy it for about $15, uh, $15 per pound, which is why that horse, that killer buyer does not want that skinny horse over in the corner. He wants that fat and sassy one right there because he's going to make more money on that horse than he is that skinny one that's about to die. Okay? So they're taking our horses from the United States of America over to Mexico and Canada so that they can sell them to people overseas. Well, this isn't right. We need to protect our horses, and we need to stop this from happening. We've already stopped the horse slaughter plants in the United States. Now we need to stop them from exporting them over to Mexico and Canada. And we can do it. We've already proved that we can do it. So at the end of my speech on the discussion board, I'm going to have a link for um, three different organizations where you can go and see what you can do to help. You can, you can have a pre-made letter and just sign it for your senator. That's one thing you can do, and that wouldn't take more than five seconds. Because we can make a difference. We've already proved that we can make a difference. So help me to help them, and let's do it. Let's win this war.